Hi, I'm Tom Hess, and I'm glad that you've come here to check out this video on a career in music. You know, when you start out trying to pursue a professional music career, it can seem really challenging or even downright scary to enter an industry which you may know very little about. What a lot of musicians do is they start reading books or even taking some courses about how the music industry works in general. And although this is good information to have, oftentimes when you're done reading those things or studying those things, you still end up with this overwhelming feeling that goes something like this. I'm now more scared than I was before I started reading that stuff. Because what you start to realize is, or what you, what you start to believe is, that there's all this stuff outside of yourself which you don't control, right? Other companies or other people or other entities seem to have all the resources or the connections or the power and influence or the decision making in terms of how far you're going to be allowed to go following a specific path. Well, what I'm here to do is to tell you specifically that that's not necessarily true. That although there are going to be companies that have resources and people that have influence, you also have a lot more potential influence and resources and direct control over the whole process than you probably realize. Most musicians come into this music industry just holding into their hands perhaps a burning ambition and their musical skills and maybe their songs. And that's usually about it. So they try and learn a little bit more about how things work, but they still only have a little bit in their hands which they know that they control. What you need to do, this is, ve this is key, this is very important. Instead of trying to influence other people or other companies to give you what you want to receive from them, you need to take a different approach. If you really want to increase the chances dramatically of developing a successful career, you need to focus on the things you can control, the things that you can develop and build on your own. And what will happen is when you do that, and I can show you some specific ways on exactly what I'm talking about and exactly how to do it, but once you do that, it now becomes much, much more easy to influence other people or other companies to work with you, to invest in you, to partner with you, to say yes to you, once you have some other core things in your control and in, your, in, in place. This is very, very important, and it's usually the path that people never think about, but in fact, it's the most effective one. It's the safest one, and it's the one in which you control and build. What I'm going to do is invite you to come to my website at the link below and check out some free resources that I've built for musicians like yourself. Not too long ago, I didn't have a music career either. And over time, once I started realizing that I need to control the things that I can control, I need to build and develop the things that I can, it became much easier for me to get in bands, to get a recording contract, to play on world tours for crowds of 10,000 to 20,000 to 30,000 people every single day, to have a hit single in Germany and in some other European countries, to do all of these things, none of this would have been possible had I tried to start out just holding my ambition in my hand and my music and then waiting for other people to, to say yes to, to all of that or to try to influence people without building more value and building more of the systems that need to take place in order for me to launch my career. I did it. I've mentored other people just like you to do it. And in fact, you can do it. Come to my website. I'm not selling anything here. I'm just offering some free resources for you to get started, for you to get some clarity about where you're at right now and ultimately what you need to do next.